Hello and welcome to another episode of Kuya Dev Tidbits Podcast. I am Rem, your Kuya Dev. And for today's episode, I want to discuss something na pumipigil sa maraming tao. In particularly in the tech industry. Na mag-apply sa isang job posting. At yun yung sangkatutak na requirements para dun sa trabaho or for that position. Yung parang shopping list yung dating. Or may kasama pang may kasama pang malaking requirements sa experience. Years of experience. Na usually naghahanap ng junior who has at least one year of experience, or two years, even. So, if you're a career starter or a career shifter, medyo nakaka-intimidate, di ba? Na junior developer. Tapos, isang daan na technology yung inihingi pa uh, sa, sa, sa position. Plus nga, yung one year or two years pa na... na experience requirement. And I've been there nung nagsisimula ako. At nakakatakot nga kasi syempre i-assess mo yung sarili mo eh. Uh, like ikaw, fresh graduate ka or career shifter ka na wala ka pang or nagtatry ka pala mag-shift ng career. Wala ka pang experience XP experience. And these companies are unrealistically trying to get people na may experience na. It's a common, ano naman eh, common problem. Alam lang lahat ng lahat yan na nasa, not only in tech, but in most industries. But here's a secret, lalo na sa tech. Ignore nyo lang. Lalo na yung years of experience na yon. Ignore nyo lang yan. Huwag kayong matakot. Applyan nyo. Sendan nyo ng resume. Doesn't matter. Why? Kasi, why are you gatekeeping yourself? Hayaan mo yung recruiter or yung HR. Gawin yung trabaho niya. And part of their job as human resources managers or recruiters is magsala ng candidates. Magsala ng applications. Ginagawa nila yung madalas para onti lang yung applications, di ba? At saka, oh, syempre, para in theory, mas maganda yung quality ng mga applicants. But in reality, it's not doing, I don't know, I don't know the science. But from what I'm seeing, it's not doing its purpose. Lalo na kung naghahanap ka ng junior developer, why would you tell applicants sa kailangan nila ng experience? Junior nga eh. So most of these juniors don't have the necessary experience na kailangan to fulfill yung requirement na yun. Which is, you know, ironic eh. But uh, it's, it's, it's become standard practice. I don't know. Kasi there's a lot of professionals din kasi sa mga ganyang mga uh, roles sa HR or in even in other roles, but specifically in HR, kasi yun ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, ayaw nila mag, ano yun? Magbago ng, ano, ng, ng, ng approach, or tumingin ng mga bagong trends in recruitment. Yun yung parang nagiging, ano ko eh, nagiging observation ko sa mga, sa mga job postings. Parang, ang gusto lang nila, random lang, bahala na, may mag-apply dyan. Makakuha rin naman tayo eh, marami naman mag-a-apply eh. 
And, you know, it's... It's deterring people from applying. Lalo na yung mga may, ano, may promise. Karamihan ng mga career shifters, they're shifting into tech dahil gusto nila yung gagawin nila, yung magiging trabaho. Eh. They're really interested. And it will show in their work kadalasan eh the passion kasi pinili na nila yung 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 career na yon na you know parang sa akin sa sa sa, sa naging experience ko is 10 years into my career i i realized na ito pala yung gusto ko i've already had that wisdom na yeah ito nga ito nga yung gusto kong gawin habang buhay na. So, yung mga ganun tao, yung mga passionate, pero takot, syempre, na feeling nila, inadequate sila, they will not apply sa mga ganyan trabaho. And a lot of companies are missing out. Naikinabang yung mga katulad namin na companies na kasi nga ako, alam ko yung 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 reality na maraming career shifters diyan na na promising and career starters so i don't limit pag nag pag nagre-recruit kami I, i we don't put a a an experience requirement basta mapatunayan mo lang na kaya mo okay na yon no uh, and there's a lot of ways na or a lot of alternative ways para malaman mo na may alam yung tao or they can work in this situation aside from years of experience. Like, in lieu of, in lieu of experience, pwede sila mag-present ng personal portfolio, yung mga project na binubuo nila on their own time. Di ba? Or contributions, con- excuse me, contributions to open source. Yun. Con- contributing to open source, that's work. Although, not in the traditional sense, but it's work. Di nga lang siya binayaran, but halos ganun din eh. It's like working in remote eh, With someone you, know, you don't know personally. And someone who's maybe even a stranger on the internet. You get to collaborate with people. And that's work. You're creating value, di ba? For, for other people. Pero yun nga, ikaw, as a... as an, as an, uh, uh, as an uh, aspiring tech career uh, shifter or career starter or tech professional, huwag ka matakot. Ano ba naman kung nagsambit ka tapos wala ka natanggap na reply? Anong mawawala sa'yo? Or, kunwari, nag-apply ka na, na, na kapasok ka sa interview, natawag ka for interview, tapos sinabihan ka na no, hindi kailangan talaga namin ng may experience. At least you tried, di ba? And that rejection, it doesn't mean anything. Yung nasasayang lang is, you know, oras mo, tsaka oras nung nag-interview. But it's part of their job. So, huwag natin padaliin yung buhay nila, di ba? Trabaho nila yun eh, binabayaran sila para doon. <laughs> And, uh, about pala doon sa mga tech, tech stack na hinihingi nila, yung sangkatotak, maybe try to dig dig deeper into what the role is. Pwede, pwede nyo i-message yung, ano, kunwari, sa Facebook, may nag-post. I-message nyo or PM nyo yung nag-post. Ano po ba yung gagawin nung... or anong gagawin doon sa role? Tapos doon mo madideduce kung ano eh, kung ano yung kailangan na text stack eh. And usually, talaga, yung tech stack na yun, hindi totoo yun. Hindi nagagamit lahat yun. 
Kasi lalo na pagka HR yung ano, yung yung nag nagbuo nung ano, nagbuo nung requirements. Tapos hindi hindi ka nun salt yung tech team or yung team na mag-absorb nung nung hire. Hindi nila ka nun salt on yung requirements nila. Kakakopya lang yan sa ano. I'm I'm not di ko nila lahat ah. But uh, that's that's what I'm seeing eh. Parang copy paste eh. Kina copy paste yung mga bagay-bagay. So I know this kasi yung first job ko ganun eh. <laughs> copy paste yung <laughs> yung ano nila eh. Yung listing nila eh. So ang daming hiningi. Nakakatakot. Nakakatakot. Pero sila lumapit sa akin. And I I I already I, the only thing that I knew then was JavaScript. May mga hiningip sila kung eh, di ko mating maintindihan, mat, di ko na matandaan. Tapos pagka tinigdan mo parang wow. Nung natanggap ako, wow, mag 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 magagamit ko lahat ng to, matututunan ko lahat ng to. Pagdating doon, as in jQuery lang kami. Ah, pa, papay na yung jQuery ngayon ha. Actually, hindi pa. May mga gumagamit pang mga sites dyan, but uh, it's uh, largely abandoned na uh, within the JavaScript world. But during that time, ano yun? Lumalabas na yung mga React React, uh, Node.js, syempre. I thought I would be able to work with Node.js apps. Parang gamit ko lang sa Node.js nun is to install Uh, packages or dependencies yun lang yung nangyari that's the closest thing or na narating ko to work with Node.js in that particular role more on jQuery kami nun sabi ko nga ang dami hiningi nung ang dami nilang hiningi nung nag-hire sila wala naman palang <laughs> and sa mga pag-uusap namin sa mga meetups, parang ganun lang rin sa ibang kumpanya. Parang, sindakan eh. Parang, or, syempre, gusto rin talaga nila ng tao na, ano, na may mga ganong, ano, ganong skill set. Which is unrealistic. Sino bang taong may alam ng lahat ng mga technology na yan? Yung full stack. Full stack, full stack na yan. Na alam lahat. JavaScript, Python, Ruby, Node.js, PHP, lahat na. Ako, makakalimutin na kong tao. Di ko kahit tandaan lahat yan. <laughs> And for me, pagka nakakita akong ganun, tapos ipipilit nila na ganun nga yung requirements, kailangan lahat. Sa akin, red flag yan eh. Kasi that means, although, you know, syempre pagka bago ka, exciting yun kasi feeling mo marami ka matututunan. But, In reality, in, sa, sa, uh, sa trabaho, ang hirap. Ang hirap ng context switching. Yung paiba-iba ka ng, ng, ng ginagamit na language, paiba-iba ka ng project, paiba-iba ka ng task. Yung ngayon, JavaScript ka na for this project, bukas PHP ka for this project, bukas mobile ka, ay sa kinabukasan nun, or sa makalawa, mobile ka naman. It's going to be hard. And magiging ano ka eh. Mag- magiging ito, ito yung ano eh. Ito yung ayoko yung magiging generalist, generalist ka sa mga bagay na ganyan. Generalist ka, wala kang specialty. Wala kang specialization. So, yun. Um, siguro, yun lang talaga may ipapayo ko. Huwag kayong matakot. As, as, job seekers. Okay, matakot sa tech no so requirements ng mga tech companies na 'yan. Maganda mag-research ka talaga dun sa company kung talagang medyo may pag-aalangan ka or you want to know talaga kung ano yung tech stack na ginagamit nila. Mag-research ka about the company. Uh, maybe you could cold email or uh, message someone on LinkedIn na nagtatrabaho dun sa company na 'yan. Or better yet, ano? Baka join meetups. Pagka, lalo na pagka okay na yung pandemic. Wala na yung pandemic na yan. 
join meetups. Kasi doon mo malalaman yung mga trending na ano na trending na technologies. And also, baka may mga ka, mga developers na makilala ka or during meetups na nagtatrabaho in some companies na pwede mong tanungin ano yung gamit nyo. Kasi parang interested ako magtraba- mag- mag-apply sa inyo. Na ano bang ano bang gamit nyo? So mapagandaan ko na. So you don't have to be intimidated by job listings. Unrealistic job listings. So thank you for uh, listening again uh, to the to this episode uh, for your dev tidbits podcast. And uh, finally, uh, this is the 10th episode. Next week, finally, may lalabas ko na yung first part ng, ng interview ko with uh, Jimson Sulit. If you're just a new listener to my podcast, at the end of uh, each, ep- each season, I interview a career shifter or even just a, a developer software developer but uh, I target career shifters uh, I, I, I will be targeting career shift, shifters for the next few seasons para lang i-share yung tra- ano nila, naging journey nila to, to transition into tech uh, coming from other industries so my first uh, I think no my my second guest kasi syempre nag season 2 na to for for season 2 uh my guest would be Jimson Sulit and he'll be discussing uh about shifting into data science kasi data scientist siya ngayon and uh, it's Believe me, and dami kong natutunan sa kanya during our interview. So, I'm really excited to share that uh, that session with you. So, that's something to look forward to next week. And uh, actually, next week and the week after that, that's going to be my season finale. So, with that, uh, I hope to see you again next week. And... Thank you again for listening and good day or good night, wherever you are.